Hey everyone and welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. So I've paired up with New Amsterdam Vodka where they've set me a challenge to make a couple of really interesting dishes. So I've done a smoked cherry vodka infused baby back ribs with an apple yogurt slaw and my version of a vodka old fashioned. So first up, gonna get a pan up to heat and into there we're gonna go in with a little drizzle of oil. Now for the basis of the actual sauce itself, we're gonna go in with two whole red onions. There's nothing too rushed about this dish. It's a nice, relaxed, slow cook. We've got the onions just simmering away. We're gonna add three habanero chilies. Now historically, you don't usually have much spice in a, in a barbecue sauce, but for me, I like a little bit of heat and a little bit of tang in there. Right, I've got a really good couple of handfuls of cherries. So you're just gonna rip them open, pop out the seed and the stalk, and just gonna chuck them straight in the pan. It's not often I get really, really excited about a recipe, but this one, I have to say, I've tested so many times over the summer on the barbecue, and it really does work. You've got that smokiness, you've got the cherry, and you've got that absolute punch from the vodka in there as well. It really, really works with this dish. I'm gonna add now our new Amsterdam vodka. Now, this might seem quite a lot, but it needs to be a good amount because you don't want to compromise the taste of it itself. So we're going to go in there with around a cup of our vodka. Now that might seem like quite a lot of vodka, but I promise you it's not. It's such a smooth flavour and you don't really want to compromise that taste as well because that with the smokiness from the cherries really makes this dish so special. So in with that, we've got some Tabasco sauce, two or three decent shots. Over here, we've got some herbs and spices. So we've got a teaspoon of oregano and I've got one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika. We've got a good pinch of salt. We've got two large tablespoons of brown sugar, a small shot of Worcester sauce, and I've got a shot of apple cider vinegar. Now for a citrus element, we've got one lemon. I've got three large cloves of crushed garlic. And just as that starts to sweat down slightly, we're gonna go in there with one tin of chopped tomatoes. Now leave that for around 20 to 25 minutes, just to simmer down nicely. It'll start to fall apart and start creating a sauce. Then we're gonna pop it in the blender and give it a quick blitz. So you can see there, that's really starting to thicken up. So we're just gonna pass this through our blender. Over here, I've gone to the butchers and got two racks of baby back ribs. Just gonna season them, decent amount of salt. Now we're gonna add our sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle that all over the top, making sure that all the ribs get completely covered. It almost looks like you're putting too much on there, but that will render down and start getting that burnt char effect on it. So that's covered in the sauce. We're just gonna cling film over the top of the pan. Now the reason I'm doing that is I wanna get some smokiness through there so the vodka really works with the cherry and that really works with the smoke as well. Right, one sheet just over the top and you make a small hole over this side. Just enough for your little smoker to go in. Now, you're just gonna leave a little hole there so you can put in your actual smoker tube. So your tube goes in, put it right to the back, a little bit of your wood chips just in the top and then we're just gonna draw through our flame. Right, they can go in the oven for around 20 to 25 minutes at around 180 Celsius. Now while that's cooking away, we're gonna get on with the simplest coleslaw. It's gonna be an apple slaw. So for this, we've got equal portions, red cabbage, celery, carrots, and apple. We're gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, season with a good pinch of salt, and finish that up with a cup of yogurt. See, that is the simplest slaw. Now all I do with this is just put a little bit of lemon juice just over the top. So half a lemon would be just enough. Stops the apple going brown, gives it that real fresh, vibrant taste. Now, for the fun bit. I'm gonna make a drink that goes really well with this meal. New Amsterdam Vodka said, can you pair something with it that really works well with the smokiness of the barbecue ribs? So, we're gonna do something called an old fashioned, which is massive at the moment. Um, generally what it means is just gonna mix some Angostura's bitters with some sugars, pair that up with a little bit of citrus fruit, then choose your spirit. This is distilled five times, so it works perfectly, completely neat. So, first up, we've got our flavours. So we're gonna use cherries and into a little mixer or a little blender. We're just gonna again, de-pip our cherries. Now you can use cherries as they are. They're even better if you actually freeze them slightly beforehand. Right, into there, we're gonna use the juice of half an orange. A small amount of vanilla syrup and then we've got two or three drips of Angostura's bitters. And then finally, just a very small amount of sugar. Pop on your lid, we're just gonna give that a good blitz. One large ice cube, strainer just over the top. 
We've got our new Amsterdam vodka. Give it a good stir around. And then finally, just over the top, I'm just gonna finish that off, with just a little bit of orange peel, just over the top. Let's serve this one up. We've got ourselves a, a board and a bowl. We've got our coleslaw over here. And then finally, let's get our ribs out. The smell in here today is absolutely incredible. This is my happy day. I'm gonna serve this up true rustic style, just in a platter board like that. We finish that off with our perfect pairing drink. Right, let's give this a try. Oh. <laughs> it's got a kick. As always, with all my cooking, it's got a bit of a kick. That is so, so good. You can really taste the cherry through there. That is my hickory smoked, barbecue, spicy, cherry, vodka infused back ribs with a yogurt and apple slaw, finished off with our absolutely perfectly paired New Amsterdam vodka, cherry infused, old fashioned. I mean, how cool does that look if someone brought you that out as a sharing platter? It looks epic, it tastes epic. If you recreate it, hashtag me as Haste Kitchen as always. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check out New Amsterdam Vodka. Links in the description box down below, which takes you straight through to the website. It's awesome stuff, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye.